Lord, that you're in our day shall see God. Remember us, O Lord, when we call in your kingdom. Bless the Lord. Lord, peace makers, for they shall be called sons of God. Remember us, O Lord, when we come into your kingdom. Bless the Lord. Those who persecute for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Bless the Lord, you come and with all your persecuted, persecute you and all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Rejoice and be glad for your word is great in heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. The heavenly choir says, "Holy, holy, 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 Lord, so love, so tender, and first, our full of your glory. Come, show them the invite of your face, shall never be ashamed." The heavenly choir says, "Holy, holy, holy, Lord, so love, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit." The choir of holy angels are in the angels with all the heavenly powers. The explosion and says, "Holy, holy, holy, Lord, so love, heaven and earth are full of your glory." God's armor to the ages of ages on them. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and one Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord the Son, the only begotten Son of God, begotten the Father before all ages, the light of light, true God, true God, begotten my Creator, the one essence of the Father, through all things for me, who for us men our salvation came come from the heavens and was the of the Spirit and the Virgin Mary became us. He was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered in the spirit, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and to the heavens and sea of the reign of the Father. And he will come again the glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall be alive. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator, of the life, and proceeds from the Father, to the end of the Father and Son, is worshiped, glorified, and spoke through the prophets. And one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and confess one baptism for the remission of sins, that with the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Pardon, we did forgive all God our offenses, but voluntary and voluntary. Indeed, in word and knowledge and ignorance by mind by day, in mind and thought, forgive us all things since you are good and mind and mind. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Glad is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I understand that your passion was delivered and declared to the world that in truth you are the Father's radiance. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily are Christ of God, the stone of your tender compassions. Apply your new communion which bears your name. Cause our faith members to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries and for an ally where may they have you peace as their armor, the truth the invincible. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, that the saints who rest of Christ and the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, but a life everlasting, but not forever to the ages of ages, O men. O protection of Christians that never fails, and recession of the Creator that never fails. We, sinners, may you do not ignore the voices of our prayers. O good lady, we implore you to come up to our aid when we cry out for the day. Hurry to intercession and hasten to supplication of the Lord, all those who protect God and honor those who honor you. Whatever, so 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 who calls all men to salvation with the promise of good things to come. Receive our word, O Lord, our prayers at this hour. We guide our life to your commandments. Save our souls, we trust our bodies, correct our thoughts, care for our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and distress. Encompass us about with thy holy angels and guide and guard by their light. Obey, we may attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of thine unapproachable glory for thy arms, us and to the ages of ages of men. Right on mercy, right on mercy, right on mercy, right to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, and the Father, to the Holy Spirit, 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 to the Holy Spirit,
May God have compassion on us and save us. May He may He cause His face to shine upon us and have mercy upon us. Oh Lord, and Master of my life, do not give me the spirit of laziness and meddling, lust of power and idle thought. But rather give to me instead to your servant the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, and grant me to see my own faults and not to judge my brother. For your blessing unto the ages of ages. Amen. We have the grace of the Son and mercy of 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 of
the earth was filled with his creation. There is this great, great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there both small and great. There is ships passed through. There is his dragon who formed the plague therein. All things made upon the earth may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their bread, they shall die and be turned again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall be with the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever, and the Lord shall be by in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him, and I shall be by in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth, and the law of the soul has to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun goes in setting, you establish darkness, and it was night. O Lord, your word shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in this soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. Jerusalem is built as a city whose compactness. 
darkness is complete. There the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord, and he does the to Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones sat there for judgment, thrones over the house of David. Ask thou the things regarding the peace of Jerusalem, and there is prosperity to those who love you. Let there not be peace in your power or prosperity in your citadels. For the sake of my brothers and my neighbors, I indeed spoke peace concerning you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I sought good things for you. I looked my eyes to, the, to you who dwell in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of the servants look to the hands of their masters, as the eyes of the maidservant look to the hands of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he shall have compassion upon us. For we of mercy on this Lord and mercy on us, for we are greatly filled with contempt. Our soul is greatly filled with it. We are a disgrace to those who prosper and a contempt to the arrogant. If the Lord had not been with us, then Israel would not say, If the Lord had not been with us, who spread was up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive when their anger raged against us. Then the water would have drowned us. Our soul would have passed through a torrent. Then our soul would have passed through a water that is overwhelming. Blessed is the Lord who did not give us as great to their teeth. Our soul was delivered like a sparrow from the snare of the hunters. The snare was broken and we were delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and today, and today, and today. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Again, again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Now, for the same sake, mercy for us, keep us our God. Jerusalem all the days of your life. 
May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. <clears throat> Many times they warred against me from my youth, let Israel now say. Many times they warred against me from my youth, yet they could not overcome me. The sinners schemed behind my back. They prolonged their lawlessness. The righteous Lord cut in pieces the necks of sinners. Let all who hate Zion be shamed and turned back. Let them become like grass on the housetops, which withers before it is plucked up, like grass with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the gatherer of sheaves, his bosom. Neither do those who pass by say to them, The Lord's blessing be upon you, and the Lord's name be bless you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, 
In the night, you lift up your hands to the Holy of Holies and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, He who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thank you.
even something for the common good. The thoughts of a wise man are his ways of blood, that he might turn aside and be saved from Hades. The Lord will destroy the houses of the arrogant, but he will strengthen the boundary of a widow. The thinking of the unrighteous man is an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the holy are sacred. He who receives bribes utterly destroys himself, but he who hates the receiving of bribes saves himself. Sins are cleansed by almsgiving and faithfulness, and by the fear of the Lord everyone turns aside from evil. The hearts of the righteous care about faithfulness, but the mouth of the ungodly answers evil things. The ways of righteous men are acceptable before the Lord, and through them even enemies become friends. God is far from the ungodly, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. The eye that beholds good things gladdens the heart, but a good report enriches the, bo the bones. He who rejects instruction hates himself, but he who gives heed to reproofs loves his soul. The fear of God is instruction and wisdom, and the beginning of glory will respond to it. All the works of the humble are evident before the Lord, but the ungodly will be destroyed in the evil day. Every night-hearted man is unclean before the Lord, and he who joins hands with the unrighteous will not go unpunished. The beginning of a good way is to do righteous things, and this is more acceptable to God than to offer sacrifices. He who seeks the Lord will find knowledge and righteousness, and those who seek Him rightly will find peace. All the works of the Lord are with righteousness, but the, un but the ungodly man is kept for an evil day. Better is a small yield with the righteous than abundant fruits with the unrighteous. Let the heart of a man think righteous things, that he may make his steps straight under God.
confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and in deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach the divine communion. O Maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are a fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every sin. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up the spiritual fire for my sins, and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that leaping for joy, I may magnify the good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my master will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master, who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these only gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as an Judas. But like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, of your kingdom.
short image. Uh, a short image is not me, uh, <laughs> although I am short. Uh, I wanted to share with you this final prayer uh, that's in the sanctified liturgy that we say uh, right before, instead of uh,
we have to remember that God did not abandon the people of Israel, although they in their way forsook him. They forsook God. They said, forget about Moses, forget about God, we're going to make our own God. Come, children, hear me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires? 
desire is life and loves to see the good days. Keep your tongue from wickedness and your lips from deceitful speech. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are upon to their pleas, are open to their pleas. The face of the Lord is turned against sinners to erase their memory from the earth. The righteous cried out, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them from all their trials. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he will save the humble in spirit. Many are the trials of the righteous, but out of them all the Lord will deliver them. He protects every bone in their body, not a single one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is painful. Those who hate justice shall be damned. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of those who hope in him shall be lost. I will exalt you, my God, and my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised, and to his greatness there is none. Age after age will preach your works and proclaim your might. They will tell the glorious wonder of your holiness. They will recount your wondrous works. They will speak of the power of your awesome deeds. They will declare your greatness. They will recall, they will recall your abundant goodness and will exalt your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He is long-suffering and abounding in love. The Lord is good towards everyone and his grace extends over all his works. Let all your works be Thanks to you, Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known your might to the children of men and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion is for all generations. The Lord keeps faith in all his promises and is hollow in all his works. The Lord supports all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all who look up to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hands and satisfy all living beings. The Lord is justice is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all his works. The Lord is close to all who pray to him, those who call upon him in truth. He will meet the desire of those who fear him and hear their pleas and save them. The Lord keeps watch over those who love him, but the wicked he will utterly destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, Flesh bless this holy name forever and to all eternity. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect and keep all of you. Um, we uh, are just thank you for all of you that are watching and for those that are worshiping and praying with us. Thank you to uh, Dean Kiyako, Carrick, uh, Shepis from. Uh, St. Anonymous for joining us this evening uh, in the absence of Father Nick. I was going to have them both here, but God is, God is good and has allowed us. We're going to continue uh, on, actually, with an unscheduled service. Tomorrow evening at 6.30, there will be, there's an unscheduled service. The great canon of St. Andrew of Crete will be read here, um, along with the life of Mary in Egypt. Uh, it is uh, something that is done on Holy God. Uh, on Thursday of the fifth week of Great Lent, uh, this is where we are, fifth week of Great Lent, and so we're gonna, um, we're going to have this service. I'll put it on the calendar and schedule if it's not there already. But uh, we're going to have that um, so that uh, we have this opportunity to be edified by these words as well, uh, and you may join along with that. Uh, I do apologize that there's a conflict with another meeting that's happening at the same time, possibly, uh, but uh, you know. I, I just, again, that, that, that won't, uh, that, that those things don't happen lightly, but tomorrow is Thursday at the Great Canon, uh, so we will, uh, we will commence with this and, and possibly figure out a better way of doing this in the future. But, uh, just be aware that that's happening, so if you're at the meeting, sign back on and look over here once in a while, because we'll probably still be reading the canon, even after you're done with the meeting. Um, oh, and then we have the full activist on Friday, we'll have church for um, uh, this, this coming Sunday is for St. Mary of Egypt. Uh, we'll hear all about that uh, coming forward. And we would normally have gone to another parish for the sanctified liturgy, uh, but uh, we're not allowed to congregate together. And uh, I believe the parish where we were going is not allowed to have services. So I'm going to do the sanctified liturgy here next week. Um, at the same time, 6.30, uh, proceeded 
by ninth hour if you'd like. Uh, 15, uh, 6 15, they'll be ninth hour, uh, followed by 6 30, um, uh, recycling by liberty. So, thank you to Saba, thank you to Kathleen, everyone. John was back there uh, to, to help out for the service, encompassing, encompassing the five, and we'll continue in this way. So, God bless you, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow evening.